Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys inside the process of me making a song that I'm kind of like halfway through, but I'm gonna show you guys what I've done, what I think I wanna do, and what I'm possibly going to do in the future with it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, hopefully you've learned something. And as always guys, if you ever need help with music production, send me a DM on Instagram, at beautifulbeats99, and I'll gladly help you for free. I always respond to my DMs. Don't be shy. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something. That's enough talk. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. Whoa. So I actually posted on my Instagram a little like teaser and like a kind of like a cliffhanger. what the song is actually sounding like. A couple people were not happy, but you know, it was something fun I wanted to do. Now you guys get what you want. You get to see what it's sounding like. And then you pair that with this guitar. You see these two effects come in. It's just like a white noise transition and like this big like boom sounding effect. So, what you're hearing there is a vocal chop with a ton of reverb. And keep in mind, guys, this really isn't mixed yet. So, if something seems like extremely loud or too loud or not too loud or not loud enough, just know that's why. And that'll actually come back in as like kind of the main melody. So you'll hear that all come back full circle. Uh, you also hear this melody playing. Which is another nice melody that's also gonna come back in when the drop comes back in. Sorry, I forgot to mention. This is just a, it's called Distorted Piano in Nexus. Gives like a nice atmospheric, not a nice space. And then you have an instrument called Open Roads, also from Nexus 3. Those two sounds are really what the main chord progression is. And they sound really, really nice together. So that all goes back, guys, to layering your sounds, right? I know I say this a lot when I make these EDM type videos. Layering your sounds really gives everything a lot fuller sound. And your songs don't sound as like empty or quiet and things like that. So... This is what that's sounding like all together after that intro. You guys can hear that drum sample that comes in. So now we kind of get into like this build up. Like everything that I have coming up in this section is going through a high cut. You know, they're all automated to be, they're gonna rise up and the filter is going to open up. So you see how that opens up. And as I played that, you guys probably heard that new sound that we hear. So it's that same bell melody from before, right? But now it sounds like this. Actually has a high cut on it. So it's not, you know, fully unenveloped yet. And all that while, while they're all building up, we have that sound over top of it all. So then I kind of made like a makeshift drum fill. So I have a couple things going on in this drum fill. So the first thing I did was I let this sound just continue on. Same with the dance guitar. Next, you're gonna hear this sound and it sounds like this. 
it's like a Congo snare roll thing. I don't know what it is, but I put a little bit of Camel Crusher on it. And then I cut it out about halfway through that four bars. Um, just like adding things and taking things out. Then you hear this big snare hit, which is actually our main snare for the drop. And that's what's gonna set off into our drop. So this is what that sounds like. And then we get into the drop. So that drum fill we just made, we don't really want it to be outrageously loud, right? Because if it's too loud, then it'll make the drop seem a little weak. Getting into this drop, first I'll just play it for you guys. Awesome. Obviously we have these chords, right? And you can see how much they're layered, right? I've used four instruments just for these chords. Next, I have a bass and a sub bass. Just following the bass line of the chords and they also add to that thickness of these big chords. And then you also heard, and it was the same sound that played in the build up and it sounds like this. So you can hear now it's a lot more opened up and it kind of fits nicely with these chords. This plugin right here, it is called Wider by Infected Mushrooms and it helps you just make a sound wider, right? You can change it all the way to 200, 100. I put my chords, a couple of the chord sounds at 150 just to kind of bring them a little bit outside so the lead and the bass can both hit in the middle. Yeah, that is a great plug and you guys should check it out. Experiment with it, don't go crazy with it, but just check it out and it's free. So that's something you guys can use. And then we also heard that main vocal chop from the beginning. Not as much reverb, a little bit of crunch to it. So that's really all the sounds that there are for this drop. You obviously I have your kick and your snare. you guys can hear this because I'm not using an actual mic I'm just using my phone so right now I'm working on a second drop and I like having my drop sound a little bit different so after messing with this for a while I've officially decided that I'm gonna keep the same kind of melody that we had before with the last lead but I'm gonna make it a little more a little more groovy, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm adding a really little, like, on the note before, the note that I actually want, so it kind of like glides into it. All right, so now that I have those glides in there and the drop is sounding a little bit different, we've taken out some chords, we've taken out some drums to give it some space. This is what it's sounding like so far. So now what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to play through the entire thing from start to what we have. It is still not finished. It is still not mixed. Okay. So if you hear anything outrageous, don't be too harsh on me, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this.
All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to listen to some more of my songs, I do release songs on all stream platforms. You can click the link below to my Spotify, take a listen to those. But I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you guys saw something that you might want to do in your own music. As always, you can send me a DM on Instagram. I'll respond. I'll help you for free. I help people all the time on Instagram. Don't be shy. Also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Guys, this channel is growing. I'm so excited. I'm finally doing some YouTube stuff. We've been at it on Instagram for a little while now. But thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for another one. Peace.